Well, here we go. It's all about the taste. Hello and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make meatballs with red kidney beans. My name is Anita and I'm a Dutch Kiwi and the kitchen is my happy place. Using the pressure cooker for speed, I put in 400 grams of dried kidney beans and covered it with water. I brought it up to temperature and pressure and cooked it for 20 minutes. Meanwhile, I got some red onions and chopped them up really fine. I also added garlic. You can't have a nice meatball without garlic. Spices and herbs are next. A spicy paprika, tarragon, garam masala, and oregano, and salt. Now flavour to your own taste. Once the tablespoon of oil has been heated in the fry pan, add all the spices and herbs and let those flavours really come to their own. Don't forget the salt. Very important. It's not a lot, but you do need the salt to help lift the flavour of the kidney beans, which will form your base of your metal. Stir in the onions and don't burn them. Just gently cook them through. Once the beans are ready, reduce the pressure in the pan and lift the lid. Obviously, not everyone has a pressure cooker, but just follow the instructions on the packet for either a slow cook or boiling in a saucepan. Strain off most of the liquid, not all, and leave the beans to cool. And that is an ideal time to spoil yourself with a lovely cup of coffee and a slice of zucchini loaf. When cooled off, Put the beans in a bowl and add your spices, herbs and the onions. Mix in the bowl and here I'm adding some Worcester sauce because I just felt it needed another little bit of a tang. Stir and make a good mix. Make sure that everything is mixed in really well. Now it's time to um, create your meatball meat. Now don't mince all of it to pulp. You still need some bits and pieces of the bean to really give that meaty texture in your mouth. Add some breadcrumbs and stir. Don't whisk it hard, but just gently stir it round and you've got a perfect meatball mix. I also like to add some roughly chopped up walnuts. Now not too big a pieces, because that would make the texture quite unpleasant. Here's my handy tip. Blueberries are in season, but they won't be for long. And I prefer to wash them, dry them, freeze them and store them so that I can eat them at leisure and not see them slowly dwindle, even though they are in the fridge. So that's my tip for this week. Getting back to the meatballs. Put some flour on your hands and with a spoon put the amount of meat mixture into your palm of your hand and gently roll the balls to whatever size you'd like. Now I put them on a baking tray with baking paper and put them in the freezer. I'm going to test some of these now because as you know it's all about the taste. So the others are in the freezer and I will just put a few in the pan so that I can have a taste and show you the end product. Oh, I've got my two. Now they're not crunchy hard on the outside. To get that um, effect, you need to roll them in breadcrumbs um, and fry them differently in a bit more um, fat or do them in the air fryer. Although I have to say I have not done them in the air fryer. Now I'm going to have a taste and I'll taste one mouthful without any added extras. Oh, got some walnut. Mmm. Mmm. 
funny enough, I was going to say a meaty flavour and then my mind said, but it's not meat. It's got, because you're using the same ingredients you would if you're using mince, it does give that flavour. So now I've got my chutney, if you haven't seen the video yet, or have I put that? If you haven't seen the video, check out my chutney recipe. I'm going to put some chutney on my fork and a bit of the um, bit of the uh, yeah, meatball. <laughs> mm. Yum. And of course, you'd use mustard or tomato sauce or anything really. I've also used these um, in soup. <laughs> I, I cook them up really crunchy with a crunchy uh, outside and then when the soup was being served I put them in the bowl first and then the soup over top and then they sort of floated around in the soup and they were really yum so just for something else I think I can trick uh, meat eaters who think they would miss the meat flavour. I might just do that one of these days. Give it a go. Go and get yourself some red kidney beans. Cook them up. If you haven't got a pressure cooker, just take longer. Um, and then when you drain them off, don't drain it off to dry, but you know, just drain off the excess and keep the rest of the moisture. And um, then mince up and see what turns out like. I love them. And I've now got a tray full. Five, two, four, seven, five, thirty-five. And I've just eaten two. So it made thirty-seven. So that was uh, four hundred grams of beans. Yum. Bye. I'm going to enjoy the rest of the snack. <laughs> and I hope you have success with the recipe. Let me know. I love that crunchy bit for the walnut. Hmm. Thanks for joining me. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.